I just wanted to address everyone with a short message of encouragement and caring and support uh, during this um, great and holy land, but also during um, this trying time of the coronavirus. Um, this is the time we are in a pandemic situation that we have probably have not seen during our lifetime and uh, we are asked to do so many things um, uh, since schools are cancelled uh, we're asked to work from home we're asked to do um, so many things that we don't normally do uh, social distancing for example which is uh, counterculture uh, in America is uh, very social. Um, so this is a message of support um, so that anxiety is, does not get rampant and also to encourage focusing on Christ, focusing on uh, the church during this time of holy and great Lent. Um, I will not talk too much, but I would like to take this, uh, this opportunity um, to encourage you during this downtime not to lose focus. Um, yes, we need to pay attention to the uh, coronavirus. Uh, we need to follow the news. We need to know what is going on, but we should not lose focus on our Lord. Jesus Christ. This is our opportunity to do what we have been talking about in the diocese for the past two and a half years, uh, which is becoming godlike. This is very important not to lose track of that. This is an opportunity to give us uh, more patience, more self-control, because Patience and self-control are very important virtues that we are in the process of acquiring, God willing, so that we may become God-like. At the end of this uh, uh, five, ten minute talk, we can uh, have some questions and answers. But at this, at this time, I'd like to remind you of our focus on Christ again, and I'd like to um, bring to our attention um, a paragraph in uh, one of the homilies, actually homily 8 of St. Isaac the Syrian. Let me read it to you, and then we'll contemplate that. This is homily 8 of uh, the ascetical homilies of St. Isaac the Syrian. Blessed is the man who knows his own weakness, because his no this knowledge becomes to him the foundation, the root, and the beginning of all goodness. The beginning of all goodness. And goodness is one of the attributes of God's that we are working hard to, acqu to acquire. For whenever a man learns and truly perceives his own weakness, at that moment he contracts his soul on every side from the laxity that dims knowledge and he treasures up watchfulness in himself and this is another virtue that we're looking for which is self-control watchfulness in our in ourselves but no one can perceive his own infirmity if he is not allowed to be tempted a little either by things that oppress his body or his soul. Well, right now we are being oppressed by that coronavirus. And this is one of the ways that we can perceive our infirmities. We can turn the weakness that the virus gives us, even if we don't contract it. We can turn the weakness that it gives us, the anxiety that it gives us, and turn it around to contemplate our weaknesses, to focus on Christ, 
to acquire goodness, to acquire self-control, as Saint Isaac the Syrian said in this paragraph. So, knowing our weaknesses is the beginning of all goodness, Saint Isaac says. And also, knowing our infirmities allows us to grow in Christ, to be watchful in ourselves. So temptation is good in this case, so that we continue to focus on this. I don't want to talk too much about this. As I said, it is a message of caring, a message of love, a message of support to everybody in the diocese. And um, at this point, I'd like to open it up to questions. If you'd like to uh, text some questions, I will entertain those questions. It takes a while between the time I ask for questions and the time that you can uh, you receive the message and you type the questions. So let me reiterate that this is a time of focus on Christ and on God, even though the evil one is trying to distract us with this um, coronavirus. It is not a coincidence that it happens during Great Lent. We are always being tempted so that we don't focus on Christ. And in the past, every uh, great land, there has been some distraction, uh, was, whether it is a movie or something else. Okay, there are some um, questions now. How can we strengthen our focus? Well, how do we, Father Charles says, how can we strengthen our focus? Our focus can be done, can be strengthened by what we learned this morning as we celebrated um, St. Gregory Palamas. One of the ways is to um, do the Jesus prayer. And the Jesus prayer is, um, is one of the elements that gets us to focus on Christ and St. Gregory said, as we do that, often enough, we might be able to see the energy of God. Okay, let me see if there are more questions. Are there any special adjustments you would recommend to our actions at worship services such as kissing, as kissing icons? Um, there are some jurisdictions who have uh, put um, some signs on the icons, don't kiss. Um, it is not necessary to kiss the icon. It is not necessary to kiss the cross at the end. But um, the, what is necessary is to receive the um, body and blood of Christ. That strengthens us. You see, receiving the body and blood of Christ cannot be harmful to us. Even though some people might say, well, we're using one spoon, one chalice. Well, it is impossible for the body and blood of Christ to harm us because they are the body and blood of Christ. They are our salvation. They are not able, they're not capable of harming us if we are preparing ourselves for um, for that so receiving the body and blood of Christ is very important that helps us focus um, on Christ but it is not necessary to kiss the cross or uh, at the end of the service or the icons unless you want to let me see if there is another okay what can we learn from how the church has responded to such crises 
in the past. Maybe this is an opportunity to serve our neighbors. Many charities suddenly have no volunteers. Yeah, that's a very good question. How do we help our neighbors? You know, the church in the past has used prayers and supplications to the Theotokos um, to help in this matter. Actually, I'm going to be sending the diocese an email recommending that we do a supplication to the Theotokos before the Great Compline on Monday evening. Um, it is very important to ask for the Theotokos help because she has favor with her son and she can intercede on our behalf. So the church in the past has recommended to have supplication services to the Theotokos and I will send an email, again, I will send an email to the diocese uh, with a link uh, to the service on the uh, website of the Archdiocese. Okay. Let's see, can you scroll? No, can I scroll? Well, most of the persons are saying that it is working very well for them. Um, Ron is saying it's not working for him very well. Sorry, Ron. Let's see. For Deacon David, uh, do you have any more specific direction for us? How we should participate in the church life? Well, um, as you received, as the entire Archdiocese received a, uh, a letter from His Eminence Metropolitan Joseph, um, he advised us to cancel all non-liturgical uh, events in the parishes. And maybe that's what we should do, so that we can implement social distancing and uh, help prevent the spread of the virus. I am sure there will be further instructions from headquarters uh, regarding other things and other matters and services and so on. So we should stay tuned for that. All right, let me check again if there are any more messages. Well, can local, Jason Williams is saying, can local authorities stop us from having services? They can. And I ask everyone to comply with the civil authorities, with the local authorities, uh, because they have their uh, finger on the pulse of the virus and they know in the local area what needs to be done. Um, so we need to comply with whatever the civil authorities ask us to do. Uh, for example, in North Carolina, the governor of North Carolina has asked that um, no gatherings of more than 100 people can take place. And we are complying with that. Okay. I think this is about it. There are no more uh, questions. So thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, may you have a blessed journey uh, to the empty tomb, no matter what happens with the coronavirus, no matter what um, we are asked to do. Uh, and we should comply with all of that. Thank you very much. God bless you. Take care. God is